All right, welcome in. Good evening, everyone. Welcome into Growth Laboratories, where we are going to start a marathon of roasting over the next couple of days. Um, going to be trying to fulfill some of your chat requests. I get a lot of interest in trying some of these beans that we've been roasting the last couple of nights. So we will be trying to get some of these out to you as quickly as possible. So looking at a couple things here, um, it's looking like, did the music stop? Yeah, you like that? Courtesy of Jay Brogren. So can't really make a lot of coffee yet, but boy, we can make one t-shirt. Let's roast. You got it. Uh, is the music not playing in the background? It is playing in the background. All right, let's, before we get too deep into this, let's kind of mess around with that, see if we can't get that figure, fixed or figured out. I mean, that's the beautiful part about being in early, right? Is we get to be the guinea pigs. My hip, well, yeah, I mean, if I could pipe some patchouli smell in here or, you know, some nice toasted wood, I would, but uh, we haven't got 4D streaming figured out yet, so. Let's see if we can get this thing kind of cooperating. How about that? Oh, there you go, kids. There you go. They're all piped in now. Oh yeah, now got the jazz music playing. We're set to roast. Bubba Tech 000, good to see you back in uh, the chat. Fancy pants. Um, also, I'm working with a little bit of the audio. So yeah, check this shirt out. First, before we get started, thanks to Jay Brogren for giving me this for my birthday. Uh, nothing kind of kicks you in the pants and says, hey, you got to turn this into something like a shirt. So right now, what what uh, what is Fat Beans Coffee Lab? Well, it's a shirt. So we'll see if we can't get uh, that to be a little bit something more. So with that in mind, let's uh, quick run a couple, couple of notes by you guys in the Just Chatting, and then we will be doing a quick roast tonight. Um, this particular roast is going to be for Austin Taylor. Um, now you might be asking yourself, who's Austin Taylor? Well, he is the person who came up with this design. So if you were a original beanhead way back, uh, like two weeks ago, uh, you would notice that I had a design that I made on basically Microsoft Paint. Uh, and so... Austin Taylor, who's a friend of Jill McDonald 311, uh, he she got in touch with him. He said I could make you look a little bit more professional, and uh, so this is the official logo of the Fat Beans Coffee Lab. So um, shout out to him, and in fact, that's who we will be roasting for tonight. I figured I don't really like don't really know what else I can do for him. I'm not really skilled in many arts, so I figured I'd give him a little bit of green coffee. So that's who we're going to be roasting for tonight. Now the roasting schedule is going to look like this over the next couple of nights. Uh, Friday, I'm going to roast up. I'll probably do uh, Vegetable Beard and Lisa M's. I'm going to do those back to back. So Vegetable Beard and Lisa M, be looking for your, your number is being called. That number is being called tomorrow. So that's a special show for you guys for that reason. So I was thinking about the... Uh, map idea. It should be a world map with the title, Where Have We Been? I like that. And then you put a flag of a place that you roast. I like that. So, what do you think? Like, maybe put a like a map right here? And then just kind of hit them with pins? I think that's not a bad idea at all. I like it. Keep those kind of ideas coming. Um, he's out in Colorado hiking, so can't join, but I'll let him know. Yeah, let him know. Tell him he can catch the replay, so while he's drinking his 
delicious fat beans brew. He can see that, uh, no, I didn't wear any of them. Um, yeah, so you can check that out. All right, so, yeah, I think I'll either, I'm looking for a map, well, standard Brian Grover fashion. I'm looking to see if someone else has already done what I want. Uh, if there is a map about four and a half feet long, I'll get that for here, or I might just have to get down here and draw it, so. Not blocked. Not blocked yet, but I mean, I'm young. So, uh, another couple of items as to what we're going to be doing over the next couple of days. So tomorrow I'm going to do the first ever back-to-back -back roast, where I roast, turn the machine off, and then I roast again. Um, tonight I'll explain a little bit more about some exciting news as far as the roaster goes. We um, are getting ever closer to expanding what we're able to do, uh, but for now, uh, you'll kind of see how how difficult it is to do a lot of roasts back to back. But we'll do both those roasts on Friday. So call Friday what it is. It's the hardcore show. Won't be offended if you can't make it in on your you know these rare nights, these Friday nights. But uh, Lisa uh, MB and Vegetable Beard, yours will be on the block. I know someone that makes maps. Uh, why don't you go ahead and whisper me vegetable beer and I'll hook you up and we'll see what we can do. Uh, maybe we can get that map. And if that's you, make me a map. Four and a half feet by 18 inches. All right, so that would be very cool. And really, you just focus on the equator. I, don't, I, think, uh, I think the Northern Hemisphere has gotten enough run. It's time for us to focus on the equator down here at the Fat Beans Roasting Lab. Ooh, who vegetable beard? Does that person have a serious affinity for GPS? I sure can. All right, well, vegetable beard, you're up to bat, baby. So now you've moved into the free beans category. I'll trade you a map for some some well roasted beans. How does that sound? All right, guys. So gonna do an Ethiopian for Austin. I think he'll enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure. Never really got back. Um, Jill McDonald, if you can tell me if he's a coffee drinker or not, that will help me out a little bit, but I'll hit him with the, uh, the old fat bean special, special blends and spices, and we'll get going and get him something, at least something to say thank you, because he came through with the clutch. I really like this. I think this really speaks uh, to what we're trying to do here at Fat Beans Coffee Lab. So, as always, we're gonna drop into the big bag. Yes, that is 20 pounds of green coffee. Also, I made some microphone switches. So while we're doing the uh, stream tonight, let me know if it sounds better, sounds worse, can't tell, uh, cause I am trying to work the mic out. Um, I'm also working on getting some more consistent internet. Who would have thought that Wi-Fi doesn't work well in a concrete basement? I didn't know. So we're gonna be working on that. Those are some of the show adjustments I've been making. So if you're keeping up with, hey, has he made this stream a little bit more palatable? Those are the things I'll be doing. So going to go ahead and just preheat the machine, bring it up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit uh, inside, and then I will uh, drop the beans in. Can you get the logo of the on an infinity scarf? For our hipster friends, I mean, I think I would have to. I believe the infinity scarf, um, I think also masks that allow the mustache to come out of the mask. I think that would look good with the logo. Um, and then anything made of itchy wool. So those are the three things that I'm looking for. Uh, we'll see how sound uh, is during the shaking. Uh, that's really where it's make or break time, right? So, uh, but that doesn't come till the end. Jeannie Lynn McDonald. Love the shirt, thank you, yes. So another big shout out to both Julie uh, J. Brogren in the chat and Austin Taylor, who is out in the mountains right now, but we are going to be roasting some coffee just for him because at Fat Beans Coffee, we say thank you with coffee. Vegetable beard, infinity scars are more Han Solo dressed uh, latte drinkers. Well, I mean, the thing about hipster dars are getting older vegetable beard, so they're, Growing and they're also becoming a little bit more uh, more subdued. So I think uh, I think A Web is right. I think hipsters have moved into the affinity scarves. But I mean that's definitely up for debate. All right. So 
If you are relatively new to the chat, just to kind of explain a couple of things we're doing here. I'm getting my notebook ready. This is how I keep my scientific data because science. Um, this is the bean cam. We're going to focus that in the machine as soon as we get roasting. And I'm going to, as always, pull out my scale here and weigh up half pound or 230 grams. The reason I do half pound is it's a nice kind of center weight for this machine. Now, if you're wondering what, how does a half pound translate to what you get in a store, a half pound is about half of what you get. So you buy a pound. Now, another interesting note about the weight, when you buy coffee, if they call it a pound, they actually will, it's actually 12 ounces. Now you might be like, hey, Where'd the other uh, four ounces go? Well, green coffee has about 11% moisture in it. And that moisture, we're gonna try to bake off in this machine. So that 11% and then any of the, the chemicals or anything else that burns out, you're gonna you're gonna lose roughly about 20% in the overall drying process. So this half pound or eight ounces will be more around about six ounces by the time that we're done. Just a little piece of uh, information for you there. Got some talk on scars. Take a look and see who's joining us tonight. Also give you guys a chance to soak in that cool jazz. All right, looks like we got a pretty good crew so far, so. Uh, as always, thanks for joining us. Um, I know this has been a lot of roasting in a very short amount of days, but uh, we are getting a couple things tried out. You also might be seeing a Julie, Julie sighting. She's getting ready to pop in. She'll be walking around down here, so if you want to talk to Julie, just let me know. And she'll jump in. Sounds like a lot of math. I know. Don't get too afraid. That's all the math we're doing for tonight. Now back to the sweet science. Everyone say hi to Julie. She's going to be coming through. Just say hi, Julie. Really love that sound. Labs tonight. And old Ronnie thinks you're awesome. Got that look. Okay. And roll that beautiful bean footage, of course. Look at that. So, there you go. Let that kind of, let's just soak in there. I'm also going to, I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller. Yeah, if you took a word, if you took a drink every time the word beans was mentioned, uh, you'd be pretty, be pretty on the right side of a good place. Uh, so beans, 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 beans. Uh, for those of you that are playing said game, I can see nothing. Well, how about now, Aweb? I mean, I've never said that I was any sort of a professional uh, cinematographer. This is pure rookie mode down here. So bear with me as I learn my craft of stream. Uh, so what what is it that you're watching? You're watching the beans drying out. You know, they look a little pale green. We're trying to bring them to a nice light brown. Why light brown? Because as if you look in the description, you'll see that it says uh, city roast. City roast means essentially light, the lightest roast possible. It means the beans have been taken to first crack, and then the heat was cut, and the beans were cooled quick enough so they stopped developing fast first crack. Rookie of the year. 
Yeah, I mean, I'll take that. Rookie of the year means at least I was I came into the league and I progressed and I grew. So thank you for that, A Web. So we got every time A Web is uh, threatened with a ban, finish your drink. Again, you better now take a minute while I'm recording everything. Go get your drinks now. Because I have a feeling that tonight might be a, a ban ready night for old A Web. All right, the numbers I'm keeping down are just trying to keep track of the roast. Uh, this is, like I say this every night, this is probably one of the most basic machines possible. So any sort of data that I can glean to give me at least an idea of how the roast is coming, that's the only reason I'm writing stuff down. So if you're wondering why does this guy keep pushing buttons and writing with a pen, that would be the answer. Yeah, so that Julie brings up a good point. Um, not last night. Last night's roast went really well. But if you were with us on Tuesday night where I roasted a Costa Rican for my own personal consumption, I didn't have a pen, so I didn't write anything down. Uh, that roast went sideways. And if you've ever heard the term baked before, I got into that coffee just wondering if it was any good. It was mediocre at best. So it's very important for me just to keep track of the numbers just to know if, how good the roast is going to be. Because, you know, again, look how good this t-shirt turned out. we got to make sure that Austin Taylor gets the uh, premier, premier fat beans experience. Every time a hipster is made fun of vegetable beard, drink in his hand, source basil cocktail. Oh, man. No. See, now vegetable, now listen, vegetable beard, you start talking about your hipster wares, you're out of here. Julie's got the band hammer, and she's ready to swing. But Julie would like to try one of those drinks uh, with said uh, hipsters in it. Trade by my own. What a world we live in. Yeah, so I didn't get to try it at work. Yeah, I couldn't let... Uh, Belvarte, try that. Um, I cannot besperch the fat beans name in such an infancy. So I just went ahead and turned that into what we call drip coffee. Because in the dripper, we'll never taste it. But uh, it's a real bummer. Jay Brogren, they're delightful. Jay Brogren, is Thor in this scenario? Uh, I think Thor is the reason why, why she has her uh, needs the mixer. Oh, and so Julius Thor. See, Thor, I got a little confused there. That's a, that's an, that's a way deep track insider. You have to know a lot about the Fat Beans family to know what the, uh, that would mean. Yes, but Julie will put that hammer down. All right, so five minutes in, we're about at 289. If, you've no, if you're watching the beans, wondering what's happening, you'll see that they're no longer that pale green. Uh, it's kind of, I think it's kind of like watching paint dry. Uh, well, no, it, it's much with the jazz and the spinning, it's much more exciting than that. But uh, it's hard to tell when it's changed. But definitely, if you take a look at it, it is mo turning more to that very, very early stages of light brown. And the air in here is getting really thick. Um, so that reminds me. Throw that on. Turning a cinnamon color, and we should be moving towards first crack. Two and a half minutes, two and a half, three, three minutes. Now I'm interested. The next couple of nights uh, here in Kansas City. So this is a uh, this is you're ever wondering in Texas. You're like, did we make the right decision weather-wise? Well, at least over the next week, uh, Kansas City. We are looking at after the Super Bowl, which should be only about 20 degrees. We're looking at 17, 15, 14, 13. So next week, the roasting might be a little bit uh, slower because that's going to be roughly about 20 to 25 degrees colder than it is now. When, is the, when the bean can's there, no jazz music, by the way. Oh, wow. That uh, good piece of information. Thank you for that, Belvarte. Yeah, I think it's more of an internet thing. I'm trying to do a lot and... Really what I need to do is just get the internet changed down here. So 
I don't know why my sweet tunes aren't working tonight, but that's why we're doing so many roasting shows now, because we're working out the kinks. Yeah, that weather, I mean, we've had a very mild winter, and I will be honest, for those of you wondering, hey, uh, Brian, how are you adapting to the cold? Um, it's, Kansas City's been some of the best weather, but next week, I'm thinking about taking a little week off, a little vacation. Joe McDonald 311. Oh, believe? Good to know about the weather. Yeah, so you're coming down right to the proverbial S show there, uh, Joe McDonald 311. I wore shorts today. Well, get your shorts in, because uh, we're keeping it real. We're giving you a nice Midwest welcome when you get down here. Hard pass. Yeah, I mean, these are the these are the days that uh, you really earn living here. Ends up being about two weeks, so not bad. Texas winter is the best. You know what the only problem with Texas winter is? It ends. Yeah, these are the, you guys are in the glory days right now. Music is back. Yeah, the music, uh, it's all over the map right now. So, uh, as I mentioned, as I mentioned, uh, we are trying to get some internet pipe down here because the Wi-Fi is just the, the signal's not strong enough in the basement. So we uh, will get that fixed for your guys' viewing pleasure as soon as possible. Yeah. So you can, if you're uh, watching Bean Camp, which hopefully you are, because you're just watching me, that's kind of weird. Uh, but if you're watching Bean Camp, you've noticed it is very brown. Uh, it is moving into the first crack very soon, and we should have some tasty vittles in no time. And yes, I did say vittles. I don't know why. Okay, get some early pops there. Now what I'm going to be looking for is about three pops consecutive. So pop, pop, pop. I'm going to cut the power down to about half. I'm going to slow the drum down. And then I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to go for about 45 seconds. Throw it on cool. Pull the beads out. Cool. That's what I'm looking for. Set the power to half. And let the beans just do their own work. Tasty fiddles. So I'm thinking, let me know what you think in the chat, but I'm thinking about maybe hooking up a microphone to the bean cam, so when we're going through first crack, we'll turn that microphone on so you guys can really get the auditory experience that we're getting down here. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested to, let me know in the chat. So who wants to see Jill McDonald roast? Yeah, so as soon as I get this uh, all set up, I get this pulled out, we'll start talking about what we got in store for you on a Saturday, a little bit of a wacky visitor Saturday, and get you guys all filled in on the fun, the fun-filled adventure leading up to the Super Bowl. Got the old pit mitts on. Oh, Austin Taylor, you are in for a treat, my friend.
Alright, so. Oh. Okay, so. We've got our beans in the cooling process, and looks like this is as good a time as any to talk about what will be going on uh, on Saturday. So Saturday we got some kind of some hijinks for you as Saturday shows are beginning to be known as. Uh, Jill uh, McDonald 311 from the chat will be making her Fat Beans Coffee Lab debut, um, as well as we should, might have some other traveling guests. I'm going to guess we'll probably get, hopefully, a JMCD311 sighting and maybe even a Jeannie Lynn uh, McDonald sighting as well. Um, all within the proper protocols, of course. However, we are going to do something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to split the show into two different uh, categories. So, if you've noticed, a lot of you are already following us on Instagram, that means Coffee Labs or excuse me, Coffee Lab, drop the S, like, uh, but we are going to show Jill how to brew on an AeroPress. So if you see that machine that I used yesterday, well, not really a machine, more of an apparatus, but if you saw what I roasted on yesterday, brewed on yesterday, I'm going to teach Jill how to do that, because Jill is really asking me, she's saying, I want to make better coffee at work, what can I do? So we're going to introduce her to that, but that is going to be an Instagram-only show. So we're going to pipe that in on Instagram first in the kitchen, simply because I don't want to move all the camera setup and everything. And then we are going to bring Jill in here, because I promised Jill some of her own coffee. I'm just going to make Jill uh, roast her own coffee. So if you remember when I had, if you watched the show on Instagram where my brother came in, we're doing something very similar. So Jill is not only going to learn how to brew, but I'm going to make her roast her own coffee, which should be kind of a good time. Then, since you're in the Instagram chat, we're going to have some fun games and a possible Super Bowl guest giveaway that we're going to be doing on Saturday. So get in here, and we will uh, do that as good as possible. So we're going to turn off the vacuum, and I'll try to I'll try to deep cut some of these uh, chats. get uh, too deep into prognostication. I think uh, we got something good for our graphic design artist. Alright, let me uh, get caught up with what you guys are talking about here. So, uh, we decided we wanted the roast after Okay. So this is the AT Austin Taylor roast. Uh, and we want to put Jill on so we'll do roasting, brewing, and we'll see. Now, if Jill has anything she wants me to do, uh, if you don't know, Jill is an inspiring culinary artist. Maybe we'll add that too. Who knows? We're gonna keep it. I got some good. I got some plans, some fun things to do. So join us in Saturday night if you're free. Uh, but, but JMS three eleven. We'll we'll make sure we get uh, we'll get him in here as well. Well, we'll have something we got something very special. We'll have you, you won't you won't be ignored, my friend. We got something cooking up for you. Listen, you believe your Yerk dots in your optimal arousals. You leave that out of the chat, a web. That's uh, that's that's work time, Brian. We are here. We use no psychological principles in this chat. I actually think I have one from years ago I can log into. Yeah. Well, that's okay. So, Vegetable Beard, you can just log in with uh, Lisa MB if she wants to watch that, and you can watch it there. But uh, we're going to try to convince, we're going to try to bring a little bit of our Twitch vibe to Instagram. See if we can't shake any of those squares over to, to uh, this scene. And also, we don't want to leave them out either. We want to make sure that they feel welcome and loved as much as you guys do. So I'll give you a quick look at the beans here. 
get my uh, photographer in. She's trying to avoid at all costs. So there it is. Still got the chap on it. Now, if you have been watching, if you see these yellow lines here and you're wondering why is this happening? So if you recall from when we've done different Ethiopians, I've told you that Ethiopians are very, they have a lot of unique characteristics. This only really, well, this happens with several beans, but when they go to a washing station, meaning that they wash the fruit off with water instead of letting it fall off naturally, it, this is a distinction that the coffee is washed. And certain washed coffees will have this bright yellow line. So if you see this, you already know that you're drinking a washed processed coffee. And it kind of looks cool too. It kind of adds a, a different dynamic, but that is why you're seeing that yellowish line there. Huh? So washed and dry just means how they got the fruit off. Washed is a process where they take the fruit, they will pick the berries, lay them out on canvases, gather them up, wash all the fruit off and then dry the bean. Um, what it does is it takes a little bit of the acidity out, it balances the coffee out, it also prevents molding and fermentation. Um, drying just means it's the oldest form where all they're going to do is lay the coffee out in the sun and let the sun let the fruit drop. Um, it used to be that in the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, that's all you could get was washed coffee because it was being treated like a commodity, meaning they wanted to make sure that the farmer was trying to make sure that they got as much product to market. But with specialty coffees, washed and hybrid styles, that's something I can explain later. Uh, but wash style, I mean, excuse me, dry processed coffee is making a huge resurgence because the fermentation actually is what really where they're starting to get a ton of unique flavors. So, okay. Jill McDonald 311. Is it bad that we washed um, instead of natural or does it matter? Uh, it just is the flavor profile. Generally, washed is going to come with your more meat, your more balanced roasts. Um, your Central Americans are going to be washed. Also, if you're in a high humidity area, you really don't have a choice. You have to wash the coffee or it'll rot because of the high level of humidity. Um, now, if you get to areas higher up, or in the case of Ethiopia, where they've just always done dry processed, it's, for specialty coffees, dry process is usually more highly valued. It, it will bring more money. Drying it by uh, throwing it on the ground. Yes, they do dry it by throwing it on the ground. But as more specialty coffees and more money gets poured in, they're, you're starting to see people like Sweet Maria's one of their big contributions is they are coming in and trying to help the farmers dry the coffee in the highest yield possible. So they're adding things like tables, they're adding different fermentation processes. That is the one part that uh, a big integrations with American and European buyers, when they come to work with the farmers, they're actually trying to invest money to get more high-tech drying methods to ensure that the coffee can be dried a natural dry and thus increasing how much they can charge which will then put more money in the farmers part pockets so if you ever heard here of fair trade or open gate that's what you're they're talking about is that the, some of the money that's going from buying this is going directly back to certain farmers so that they can upgrade their equipment so they can actually make more coffee more money charge more you know a great piece of economics there Vegetable beard, it's the only way. Thanks, Aweb. Uh, globalization at its finest. Well, yeah, I mean, there, it's not all bad. Don't listen to everything you hear on the news there, Vegetable beard. There is, uh, when resources can pool together, the world grows as a whole. Now I'm going to be labeled as a globalist. There goes my career. Cans of politics down the toilet. He's a globalist. Nice, but globalization doesn't lead to exploitation. Well, that's imperialism, AWeb. It's not globalization. Globalization is the answer to all of our problems. Okay, so here it is. We'll do a quick shake. Like I said, we'll do a quick show tonight. Um, we'll know. Before that, I want to talk a little bit about we've been teasing a new roaster. So, old Judy here, as we've just hit. 
We are four roasts away from our 100th roast on Old Juice. And at 100, I, I told myself I would make a decision, and I decided that although I will never quit using this because it does make some really cool coffee, it's time to upgrade uh, to a little bit bigger machine. Both it's going to really help visually because it's gonna, it has some different features that I can show you how a more traditional roaster is. Now it's still a home roaster, so it's not like I'm gonna turn into commercial, a roaster, get a bunch of arm tattoos or anything. Um, but we're going to have, it's going to be a little bit bigger. It, the beam cam value is going to be, I think, a lot more mesmerizing on this particular roaster. It's also going to kick up my half pound. I'll have the option to do up to two pounds. This will allow me to at least do one pound at a time, which will help me meet a lot of the expectations from what we're getting. Laughing out loud, when did you name her Judy? I think if you go back to a couple shows ago, I got into why it was Judy. Um, but that's just the name I gave her. So you guys can help me name the new roaster for sure. Uh, but the new roaster, I hope to, I'm trying to wait so I can order it from, from Denmark and they'll ship it from China. But right now they're saying anywhere between six to 12 weeks. Sweet Maria's uh, thinks that they should have the new roaster in in about two weeks and I maybe get it by the first of March. So. Still got some miles to run with old juice, uh, but gonna be upping the roaster. Uh, this will also allow me to do back-to-back -back roasts where I am dumping green beans in, cooling beans off, so it will make me a little bit more efficient. Um, it also will have some digital scales so I can actually really get deeper into the science with you guys. So I am excited about uh, the new roaster. Not sure that it, that's... <laughs> it is. And she oh man, no, you know what? We're not at that. We're not at the relationship with the community for me to start talking about my uh, my grandma just yet. That's uh, those are the deep cut shows. Uh, all right. Okay, so let's get the shake on. I mean, let's be honest. That's what you guys all came here for, anyway. Good, good crowd here tonight. Good seeing all of you. So you've all stuck with me. I was afraid that the multiple roasts were going to lead to, you know, no viewers by the time I got to Thursday. I've really been picking up steam. So, yeah. really been picking up a lot of steam lately. That is a credit to you guys. I appreciate that. Um, as always, all I ever, I, I remember telling Julie when I first started this, I said. Said, what do you want out of this? She said, do you want to be famous? Do you want to have to like wear a lizard costume and give people advice? And I said, no, I just want to come down here and yuck it up for a, maybe a half hour to an hour and not be bored. And you guys have given me that. So the bean heads for life. He got a mic saying, close the gate on this. I think that's a mass casualty. I put a gate on my mic and I don't think it picks up the beat. We'll get that fixed. Definitely working through some of the technical difficulties. Uh, I think sound is definitely going to be the hardest one, hardest bridge to cross because I have no experience in streaming or creating videos or creating content. Uh, I think you really manipulate the, the, I mean, we can probably get a little bit more light. She can manipulate the lighting, you can manipulate the scenes, uh, but I think we still have some work to do on. I think it was, the overall visual was shaped there. Lizard costume would be nice. Bad jam CD. I mean, if you ever, uh, if you ever venture out past my channel and you enter into the murky waters that is Twitch, you will see what she has to offer out there. And it's, uh, it's an interesting, entertaining, but scary place, and you can find people in all sorts of weird costumes. I mean, this is a Thursday show. I can add a silly hat, and maybe that becomes my persona. 
Maybe I'll just sit here and wear a stupid hat every night. Um, so, now you gotta watch this. So let me know if you like the hat. I've also gotten, uh, AWeb sent me a text at 6.15, whatever that's about, this morning, about a bean bucket hat. So that's the new official apparel. So if AWeb wants to drop a link to that in the chat, um, so that you guys can all get your official bean hat buckets, uh, feel free to get those. Um, go ahead and drop me a couple more chat, uh, a couple more messages in the chat. Uh, we'll answer those, and then we will get out of here. Lou and I have been watching a show called Mine Hunters, so thank you, JMCD, for the uh, suggestion for that. We're on the last episode. Pretty good. It's got Kristoff from Frozen in it. Who knew that guy could act? Also, what is he? The, the uh, king? The king in uh, Hamilton? So, that guy's in it. Do this. Do what live on Reddit? I don't know what does live on Reddit look like. Don't explain that to me. Oh, by the way, anyway, where's the jingle? Everyone's waiting for that jingle. Bucket hats are too hipster for vegetable beard. That's like saying I, I don't know. Air has too much oxygen and it doesn't make any sense. So here's the thing. Yeah, we're going to start Season 2 probably on Friday. So after the Marathon Roast, uh, we'll hit Season 2. Is it good, JMCD? Is that is that a good show on Season 2? It's pretty good, Season 1. Uh, the show's going to peter out after the first one. Let me know about that. Anyway, post that bucket hat in the chat. I think the Beanheads, they, they, you, you owe it to them to see the bucket hat. I mean, you can imagine what it is. It was fun. If you think I should wear that, let me know. And Julie, as the, as the official show historian, she's going to go back and get the jingle. Nope. Oh, too much. Okay. Give you one last bean shot here. It does. And you know what? I've actually warmed up quite a bit of degrees since, uh, since I put it on. So maybe maybe hat is the call. So Austin Austin Taylor from Austin, Texas. How cool would that be if he was born from uh, what if he was born in Tyler, Texas? Austin Tyler. There's the bean hat. So let me know if you think that is the official Bucket hat of fat beans coffee. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, click that link. 6.15 in the morning. 6.15 a.m. I get that freaking hat in my life. So let me know if you think that's a, that's a viable addition to the show. Be heading your way hopefully by Monday and I appreciate everything you did for helping us grow the monster that will be Fat Beans Coffee Lab so got the uh, Ethiopian city roast right here looks pretty good first one to ever try fat beans out of state many of you will be trying that as well I mean, you find gold, time doesn't matter. You know what? I thought I was going to ban you tonight, but you're just, you're speaking a lot of truth. Thursday provides wisdom for you, AWeb. Brian, you should get some uh, custom labels with your logo on it. Well, funny you should mention that, but we have a stamp. Because, listen, 
we're still pretty small time here, but I know you guys are very curious about the growth of the Fat Beans Lab. We actually ordered a stamp. So each bag will have its own unique stamp on it, uh, starting whenever Etsy decides. That's kind of, that ball's kind of in their court. So, I think now's the time to go uh, see what Mine Hunter's up to. So, as always, been good having you guys in here. You guys are the straw that stirs the drink. Um, Saturday should be a lot of fun. I will be in here on Friday. Uh, no pressure, but I do have a lot of roasting to do, so I might as well just throw this on and get some more practice, try to work some of these ums out. Other than that, let me know if you notice anything technically, technical difficulties wise. We're going to try to get some internet carved out here. Also, I'm going to try to get something so I stop looking down all the time. I know that uh, can be somewhat distracting when people are talking to you looking at their feet. So, we'll get that solved as well. I have some ideas about how to do that. So, bye everybody. Thanks for uh, coming in. And as always, they count